Some players will wear out a set of frets faster than other players. In fact, I think at, at one point I wrote an article for Premier Guitar about this. But the amount of wear that you get in a fret, it's kind of like the brakes on your car. Different driving styles will wear a set of brakes out pretty quick. Other driving styles, you get a lot of miles before you ever hear squeaking or grinding or anything like that. So a lot of it has to do with the playing style. Now look at what factors go into that playing style. An obvious one is, how hard do you squeeze? Do you really mash down on the frets? Okay, that'll, that'll wear a lot faster than if you have a real delicate light touch. Second thing is, are you playing the same songs in the same positions all the time, every day? You see it a lot on touring musician guitars. So, you know, let's imagine you are a hired gun and you have a fixed set list that you play every single day. You can, by the end of a tour, you can see what songs and what chords you're playing on that guitar, on those songs, because you're doing the exact same thing in the same way every night. What happens is that you'll wear out certain frets and not the fret in front of it, or not the area immediately in front of that, it makes fret wear show up a lot faster. You hear the effects of it. The other factor that's a little, um, a little less clear to understand is how hard you're strumming. Okay. Somebody who's strumming really hard, the string is actually stretching and pulling every time your pick hits the string and lets go. I mean, you. You go to pick a string and you can see it bend a little bit, but if you really lay into the thing, it bends a lot. Well, particularly on the wound strings, all those windings are acting like the teeth of a file. So as you stretch this string and, with your pick and let it go, it pulls the string back and forth like it's sawing right across the fret. So some folks who really have an aggressive strumming style, you'll see them go through a set of frets in what feels like a matter of months, depending on how much they're playing it. And other folks who have a really delicate touch, they'll go for decades on a set of frets and they look perfect. The fret wire that we use at Taylor is, in the world of soft to hard, it's on the, on the hard end of that spectrum. It's maybe not quite as hard as the stainless fret wire that's become popular in the more recent couple of years in the luthier world. There have been times that I've liked the sound of stainless frets, but mostly they're so hard that there's like a, there's a lack of warmth that I can sometimes hear in certain instruments with stainless frets. And it wears the set of strings out so fast that I can't get any appreciable, useful life out of a set of strings before the intonation's really far off, before it starts altering its vibrating pattern because the stainless wire really will just mash right through the, alloy, the wrap alloy on the strings itself. So for a variety of reasons, I'm not a huge fan of the stainless wire. The wire that we use is this alloy that's it's just one step below that. So it's real dense, real hard. We like the sound of it, we like the feel of it. We get pretty respectable life out of it. And that's a nice happy medium for most players and most playing styles. Mm -hmm.